all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about the react flow pro so today i have implemented one feature of the react flow pro this is shape one like you can have multiple kind of shapes for the react flow pro and for that you can implement in the normal one like this one this normal react flow and you can implement the multiple shapes feature into that one so how i did that and how i'll show you the code and go through with that and all the things i'll show you okay let's get started so first of all what i did i just went over here i just did the introduction part so i already know so i just went into the quick start part and after that i did the npm install react flow and so i just went into the custom nodes part and i just saw this example over here and i copied this whole example into my uh, vs code so first you need to go main file this is your main file where the react flow is rendering so you need to just make sure you copy this code into the fresh file so i did it into the index so you can see i have created one shape folder inside that all the code related to shapes okay so i just put this code main code into the index.js okay. after that what i did i just copied this text updated node.js this is our custom node so that one i created over here and i just put it over here the code for this one so few things i have commented over here because that is not required into uh, like scenario because input box and uh, label was there so i just removed that things and apart from that everything is there as it is and just i copied this uh, css file as well because this css is written for this uh, node so that i just copied and i put it over here so i have added some more copies like a more css for the other uh, different different kind of uh, shapes like uh, trapezoid rectangle circle parallelogram and uh, the triangle one okay so you can see i have four nodes created over here parallelogram rectangle tra and trapezoid triangle and this is one is circle one so you can see i have written the code inside that for the circle okay so once it will take the class name circle it will make the shape of the circle type okay so now let's go into the index.js what i did so as far as like i've already shown my video so how you need to do the custom node so just need to define the node type so i imported all the node custom node over here and just define all the node types over here don't forget to include this node type into your react flow component so over here you need to include all node types and whatever the nodes you are initializing so make sure the node type also you need to initialize it to the node okay so i have initialized all the four nodes over here and after that let's move to the screen okay so the code is running over here and you can see these four nodes are coming over here as it is and if i reload this page okay so you can see these nodes coming over here so position would be different you can maintain the position as per your own choice but you can see shapes are coming in different different kind of okay so this is circle one this is the source and this is the target so you can connect both of these and this one is the source of this trapezoid and this one is the circle so just click, click this and also this triangle this is the source this is the uh, target one and so these things not going to be selected to each other because both are the target one and if i said try to select this one to this one so it's going to be selected and this one if i were try to select so this one also go up so this is kind of tree you can make by your own self and you can create multiple shape kind of shapes into the react flow and that's how it works so if you want this code so i'll put it into my github repository and put this link into the description so you can copy and you can go by the shape as well so next i'm going to add this add button one so into the react flow if you see over here so there's one feature for the add button like uh, you can click on the node and you can add multiple nodes so the, you can see workflow builder over here okay so let me show you over here so if you click on this add button so it will show it will create the another node for you and into the same like into the same line it won't uh, defer the position for with this node as well so it will just increase the position and you will get the plus node as well and if you click on this plus one as well so you will get different node with that plus icon so these kind of features we're gonna be implementing into the next video so i'll just implement it and let you know uh like put the video on my youtube channel so you keep following and keep subscribing the channel as well thank you so much guys and uh, i'll move i'll move this code into my github repository and put the link into the description so you would will you would be able to copy so i have differentiated all the things by features by feature so this one is the shapes this code is for the only shape you can add multiple shapes over here as far as you like as for your own choice as much as you want so i have only added five so you can add more make sure all those shapes should be included over here into the node type and whatever the node types you have included so make sure if you want those shapes into your react flow react flow component so you need to include those type of the shapes over here into the node so that node gonna be automatically take that kind of shape for that node okay so that's it and i have included all i'm gonna include all the kind of uh, uh features of this 
like a uh, feature of react flow pro over here in the line by line so first one was slave safe flow another one will be add button flow so where you can create the flow builder so i'll make the name of this add button so you can get it by that and that's it so don't need to just uh, worry about if you get the code so if you won't see anything feature over here so just go into the app.js and comment one feature and uncomment other feature so you will see the other other kind of scenarios over here into your react flow okay so thank you so much guys thank you for watching i will meet you in the next video please make sure like the video and please subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye